In CISOM 101 series, in part 7, we want to see how we can assign a content type to a SharePoint list or library using c -sharp and client-side object model. We start by enabling the content types management in a list or library, and then we move on by assigning content type to selected list or library. Let's take a look at our setup. In this website, CISOM 101, that we have been working on it for the last couple of videos, I have a library called Documents, and this library is just a default library created by SharePoint. In this library, as you can see, if I go to the list setting, there are no content types. So if I click on advanced setting, you see by default that content type management is not enabled. So as our first step, we would like to enable this content type management programmatically. Then after it is done, we want to go there and in the content types available on this site, we would like to pick up the wiki page and add it to this documents library. So the first step, we would like to enable content types management in the list or library. So programmatically, we need to check if the content type management is enabled in the intended list or library. Then if not, we enable the content type management uh, in that list. Inside Visual Studio, I already created a project called CSOM 101 Part 7. I add references and as usual, I go for my SharePoint client and sharepoint.client.runtime I click OK and I am ready to go. So to do that I add a button here and I call it add wiki page to documents list. Double click and on the top of the page using microsoft.sharepoint.client and just like before we need to resolve this conflict and I say this is a Windows form so I scroll down and here is where I want to put my code so I start by creating a client context so using client context ctx equals new client context and I need the URL for the website I need to get the reference to the web so web web equals ctx dot web then I get a reference to the list or library my library equals web dot lists dot get by title and the title is documents now if you go to this library in the library settings and if I go to the advanced setting I need to read this property programmatically. The way that I do it, I say cdx.load, I say my library. But I only need that specific property, which is, I call it, for example, L standing for library, L dot content type enabled. So I read this property and ctx.execute query so that I have this code running so I can get the results back if my library dot content types enabled actually if not enabled my library dot content types enabled equals true and my library dot update and finally ctx dot execute query just like before after my job is done I would say 
message box dot show completed. Then if I run it and I click add wiki, it says completed. Now if I go back to my setting and if I refresh this page, you see it is yes now. So basically management of content types is enabled for this library. After this, I can pick up the content type and I can add it to the library. To do that, I need to load the content type collection. Content type collection, I call it C types equals CDX dot web dot content types. Now here's the trick. If I go back to my site, you see the CSOM 101 is actually a subsite, and content types by default are defined at the root site level. So what happens if I use the ctx.web, which refers to this CSOM 101 website, actually it doesn't find the content types. To solve this problem, I need to take it one step back and I say ctx.sites dot root web in which the content types are defined and here I can actually get the list of content types. Now I can say ctx dot load and I would say c types after that ctx dot execute query so now I have the list of content types of that site collection in my variable. So in the stage two of assigning the content types to the selected list or library, so we find the intended content type in the SharePoint site collection, which is very simple. If I just come here, because it's a collection, now this C type is a collection, I can say uh, C types dot where, and I can simply run a link query for example, C for content types, C dot name equals wiki page. And of course, this where statement returns a collection, while I know there is only one item in this collection, so I can use first element in this. And I can actually put it in a variable of type content type C type. Now that I have a reference to the wiki page in the variable called C type, uh, the rest of the job is easy. I would say my library dot content types dot. So I have add and I also have add existing content types. If I use add the add actually requires a content type creation information so it actually creates a new content type at the moment i already have the content type in the website so i would say add existing content type and i use c type my library dot update and finally ctx dot execute query now all we need to do we need to run the code control f5 I click on add wiki page to documents list, completed. Now if I go to the website and I go to the documents and click on files, new documents, I have the document and the wiki page which is just added. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and stay tuned for the future videos. <music>